Well, howdy do, I picked up this Rocktown, Arkansas Lightning on a trip to Rogers, Arkansas. Hey, how you do, buckaroos? How the heck are ya? I have got the Rocktown, Arkansas Lightning distilled in copper pot still, just like granddaddy used to make. Arkansas corn whiskey, it's 55%. That's 110 proof if you're paying attention. As I said, it is, it leans down there. <laughs> so you can look at it. So I, I poured uh, just shy of two ounces here on the rock <laughs> of my big globe mold here. I don't know, over the last, I don't know, four years, five years, I guess, I've been trying to appreciate white whiskeys. And at first, I wasn't getting them at all, if you want to know the truth. Uh, my early videos uh, that I did on a few of them, I probably, in all fairness, should go back and revisit because I probably wasn't fair to them. I wasn't understanding them. Now that I've had several more over the years, I'm starting to like them a little more. A lot of my problem with some of these is price. Now, this one is reasonable. It is a 110 proof whiskey and, and it runs about 30 a bottle, but many run higher than that. And that's just too much for me for an unaged whiskey as a guy that likes aged whiskey. But there are those that don't want the, the, the you know, the, that don't want the addition of, of that, you know, that charred white oak, but I don't know why it wouldn't. <laughs> it certainly has the aroma <laughs> that you'd expect from a whiskey like this. Uh, I'm using a glass here and you can't, I can't tilt it enough for you to really look at it, unfortunately. It's a, it says wild turkey. It's a wild turkey glass. And I don't know if you can read it or not there. I doubt it. As I've got it in there, you can, I can see it, but I don't know if you can read it or not. Wild turkey bourbon. But it's just on the bottom, it's not on the glass here. Oh, yeah. So, uh, not long ago, I tried the uh, Missouri Spirits House. Now, this runs at 80 proof. So, it is much more approachable. This one is by golly in your face. <laughs> Again, this is going to depend on how much you like a whiskey like this. Now, I'm going to pretend I can speak to quality, to be honest. I don't know as much about white whiskey. Um, I'm not, well, let me say that differently. I don't feel as comfortable talking about quality of a whiskey like this uh, as much as I am talking about bourbon or Irish whiskey. But I do believe this is a quality whiskey, mostly because... Um, I've, uh, everything I bought from Rocktown has been just exquisite. Arkansas Lightning, well, let's see what it says on the bottle. Arkansas Lightning is corn whiskey, or what some might call moonshine. Of course, moonshine is the name of illegal whiskey, so we call ours Arkansas Lightning. Arkansas Lightning is double distilled from Arkansas corn and wheat. Oh, corn and wheat, okay. Uh, in a solid copper pot still, bottled at 110 proof. It's corn whiskey, just like granddaddy used to make. Okay, well, that kind of makes sense because I was kind of getting a soft that soft texture that you kind of get from a from a wheat mash. But you do feel that corn in a great big way. I, I mean, I'm telling you. I'm going to have to buy one of those little home barrels, you know, that you can age your own stuff in. I know they sell them there because um, I would like to age some of this myself. Uh get a barrel, buy some of this, and age it for about 10 years and see what the hell happens. Uh, well, I don't doubt if I can wait 10 years, to be honest with you. I'd be lucky to wait one. But, but at least three or four just to see what it does. I, this would make some great age whiskey, I guarantee you. Uh, so there you go. As far as a particular tasting notes, um, to be honest, I don't know. You do get some of that sweetness that you typically get from a corn whiskey. I think that that the addition of the wheat gives it a, a little. Uh, the addition of the wheat gives it a little uh, added dimension as well. It's just it, it's enjoyable. It's not one I'd want to drink all the time. I've got a rather cold day. It's kind of warming me up inside. I got a fireplace behind me. <laughs> uh, uh, but I tell you what, I'm going to do with this. I'm going to make a martini with it uh, and, and see what happens. So this is time to beer whisper. And I'll be back with a martini with this white whiskey. We'll see what it tastes like. And there you go. Hey, that's the Rocktown Arkansas Lightning. Uh, 
55 percent uh done on the rocks and here's some as a dirty martini and hey dude buckaroos i'm back with my uh well the second way to drink this uh you know traditionally these white whiskeys were drank straight up right out to jug <laughs> uh some people like them uh, you know we'll just do straight shots uh, for me, I've always preferred a whiskey like this. Chill, you can do shots if you like. I'm not a guy that enjoys shots. But the truth is that uh, these whiskeys are, these spirits are uh, very versatile in cocktails as well. You can use them in place of other things. I've used them to make a, a, a version of, of a white Manhattan, if you will. And in here, I've, I'm using it in place of gin or vodka, making a dirty martini. What I've got here is a little over an ounce of the rock town with about a quarter ounce of some olive juice a couple of mazetta martini olives i'm not using any vermouth the olives are uh, soaked in vermouth so i figured that was enough i do have this rather chilled it isn't shaken <laughs> And it's very mellow. Yeah, you know, it you no, know, does it taste like a vodka or a gin dirty martini? No, but it works. Uh, the white whiskey does absorb the flavors of the olive juice in much the same way that a vodka martini would. Of course, in, if you're using gin, you, you do get that, that juniper coming through. And, and here, uh, using the white whiskey in place of the vodka, well, I'm getting flavors of the whiskey combining with the olive juice, whereas vodka, you're tasting mostly the olive juice. But I may look in my fridge and see what else I have. I'd like to try this doing some other cocktails. I don't want to drink too much of this. Uh, <laughs> well, because it is 110 proof, my friends. Uh, but yeah, I get sometimes I get I get a I guess I get a little obsessive uh, at times when I, once I start doing something. Now I want to experiment with cocktails with this thing. Don't have any lemons handy, or I'd probably uh, do a version of a whiskey sour, do a white whiskey sour, but I don't have any lemons handy. Mm. Oh, yeah. That makes a nice, nice drink right there. It really does. Uh, again, I you do taste some of the flavors of that white, white whiskey, uh, kind of setting it apart from a vodka martini. Um and, you know, it's quite different from a gin martini because you don't have those flavors of juniper, but you do get those flavors of the whiskey coming through. Uh, kind of mixing and melding and having a good time <laughs> with the olive juice and everything else going on. Mm. I hadn't tried this before. Uh, uh, back in, back, back way back uh 2014 when we visited little rock um back in september of 2014 i, I bought their uh, the rye the bourbon the regular bourbon uh the rye the bourbon and the arkansas smoked all three were great products uh, a couple months ago when we traveled up into harrison i was able to find their cask strength bourbon which was oh, crazy good along with their vodka which isn't bad uh it's a six times distilled vodka. It's it was only eleven bucks a bottle, and it's probably the best eleven dollar bottle of vodka I've ever had. But this is the first time I've come across this. I hadn't been able to find the Arkansas Lightning yet, and so I was glad I, I was able to come across it during a day trip to uh, Rogers, Arkansas, where I found it. That uh, neck of the wood is really getting a lot of great breweries. Um, of course, I'm having some whiskey here, uh, but yeah, it's it's you know it's funny you don't for a long time Missouri wasn't thought of a great brewery town, and because of St. Louis, we've got plenty uh, of Kansas City area's got plenty, but even Springfield in the area is getting more and more all the time. Uh, we've even got a little distillery here in town, Missouri Spirits. So I'm glad to see these little guys popping up, especially with the uh, characters like a uh, Jim Beam selling out to Suntory. Listen, there's not necessarily inherently wrong was supporting those big guys. If they make whiskey alike, buy them. I'm not saying you can. I'm not boycotting anybody, for gosh sakes. But whenever I can, I do buy the craft brewery. I try to stay away from the 
of the big conglomerates. Not all of them are inherently evil, but some of them do have some questionable business practices. Some of them do try to crush the little guys. I guess that's just the nature of the beast. So whenever I can, I love when I can support a little distillery like Rock Temp because they're making just some fine products. So if, if you ever have to be traveling through the Ozarks region or central Arkansas, you know, if you're into Little Rock, uh, if you actually go to Little Rock, you could visit a distillery. But the, their products are sold outside of Little Rock. If you're going through central Arkansas, if you're going through the Ozarks region, you might be able to find. Uh, unfortunately, here in Springfield, <coughs> Excuse me. Unfortunately, in Springfield, the only products I can get from them are are the the flavored moonshines, the apple pie, blah blah blah. That stuff just doesn't do it for me. So I've got to travel into Arkansas to get the good stuff, and this is the good stuff, in my opinion. Uh, like I said, when I was just doing the the plane or, or the plane, when I was just having this on the rocks, you know, I I I, I admittedly don't have the experience drinking this type of whiskey as much as i do the bourbon or irish but i gotta tell you i really enjoy this one a lot everything this distillery does is fantastic so there you go i'm going to enjoy the rest of our martini this time to beer whisper we'll talk to you later well hey y'all thanks for joining me uh having some rocktown arkansas lightning two ways uh enjoyable on the rocks and as a dirty martini i hope to try it in other cocktails howdy do y'all see you later